Hi, this is Mr. Go in my fourth period chemistry class. Say hi, period four. Hi. All right, good. So, what you need to remember for stoichiometry is this, okay? If I want to go from mass all the way to the mass, and regardless if it's the mass of the reactants to the products, the products, or vice versa, okay? Note that there's always going to be three steps. Now, when you're doing the when you're doing the calculations, understand that first you need to convert this into moles of my reactants. Once you've converted this from the mole of a mass to moles of reactants, now you need to convert this into the other substance, which in this case happens to be the product. If I want to go from moles of the product to the mass of the products right here, then I'm going to need another calculation. Remember that there's three steps, three arrows, three steps. Now, for each one of these different things, you need a conversion factor. For this first one, we need the molar mass of the reactants. Okay, of the reactants. For this middle section, we need the mole ratio. And that's from the balance equation. And then for this last part right here, we need the molar mass of the products. Okay? Now, in order to find both of these molar masses, this one okay, and this one, you need the periodic table to figure it out. To find the molar mass, let's do a simple calculation. For Let's say we have KCl. The molar mass of this would be whatever the atomic mass of uh, potassium would be and whatever the atomic mass of chlorine would be. So this happens to be 39 grams per mole. This happens to be 35.45, so we'll just round to the nearest one gram. So the molar mass of this is 74 grams per mole. This is the number that we add into the first or the third step, depending on whether or not this is the reactant or the product. So from our original example, we had K plus Cl2 is going to give me KCl. Let's spend the time to balance it. There you go. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do a simple calculation. I think it was 78 grams of potassium. How many grams of potassium chloride would this give us? Well, in order to do that, grams of K, one, two, three. Okay, let me go ahead and erase this part right here. All right, so to find this, what we do is this. <clears throat> We need the molar mass of K, so we need to convert this into moles. To find that, we just look at the periodic table, that's 39 grams. If we have, uh, since we have the balanced equation, so let's put in the mole ratio. I'm going to put two Ks on the bottom because that's what I want to cancel out. Since I want to get to KCL at the very end, KCL over here, I'm going to put two KCL. Again, that comes from the balanced equation that you see on top. And then lastly, since we want to go to grams of KCl, we put in the grams of KCl on top, which is 74 grams and one mole. And then at this point becomes the calculator problem. So 78 right here divided by 39 times 2 divided by 2 times 74 gives us 148 grams of KCl. The only thing we need to keep track of now is significant figures. There's three significant figures there. There's three significant figures here. So that's our final answer. Again, it's a three-step process to figure out the mass of the products given the mass of the reactants. All right, and then we'll end it right there, and we'll see you soon.